the sum of two numbers is 1215 if their hcf is 81 then what are the numbers now let us say the numbers are n1 and n2 we have been given that their hcf is 81 so both the numbers will be having 81 as one factor so let us say n equals to 81 into a and n2 equals to 81 into some value b now we have been told that n1 plus n2 is 1215 so i will write down n1 plus l2 equals to 1215 that means 81 a plus 81 b equals to 1215 we divide by 81 what we are getting is a plus b equals to 15 so if a plus b equals to 15 that means we need to pick the values of a and b in such a way that a plus b equals to 15 now that is the only condition we have to look into or something else we have to look into now the most important thing what we have to look into now the values of a and b such that a comma b are co prime what is the meaning of co prime that means they have only factor factors one the only factor they have is one a and b are co prime so we have to pick the values of a and b such that a plus b is 15 and also a b are co prime so suppose let us take a is 1 we take a equals to 1 b value will be 14 if i take a equals to 2 b value will be 13 i cannot take 3 and 12 because they are not co prime we have 4 and 11 5 and 10 will not work out 6 and 9 no 7 and 8 yes so these are the different combinations of a and b which will satisfy that a plus b is 15 and they will also satisfy the other condition that hcf is 81 now why we are not considering 3 and 12 and 5 and 10 6 and 9 because they will change the hcf from 81 to other value we need to have retain our hcf as 81 that means the values of a and b should be such that they sum up to 15 and also they should be co prime so now we can go back and write down the numbers then n1 and n2 now for the first scenario we have 81 into a so n1 is 81 so next b is 81 into 14 so that is b is 14 so 81 into 14 is 1134 if i take the second scenario a equals to 2 so 162 81 into 13 1053 if i go to the third scenario a is 4 324 and b is 81 into 11 that is 891 if i go to the last scenario i have a equals to 7 567 in that case b is equals to 648 so these pairs of numbers whatever we have here four pairs of numbers one two three four four pairs of numbers satisfy this particular condition and the numbers are first set 81 1134 second 162 1053 324 891 and 567 and 648 so let's have a recap of this problem we have been given that the sum of two numbers is 1215 if their hcf is 81 then what are the two numbers now since we have been given that the hcf is 81 why can't we go ahead and write down the numbers as n1 and 2 then n1 is 81 into a and n2 is 81 into b where a and b are natural numbers now n1 plus n2 is 1215 sum of two numbers is 1215 
So we write down 81a plus 81b is 1215 or a plus b equals to 15. Now I cannot take all the values of natural numbers which, which will satisfy a plus b equals to 15 for a and b because we have to also make sure that a and b are co-prime. That means they don't have any factors other than 1. In that scenario only our HCF will be intact as 81. If we are taking like a equals to 3, b equals to 12, that means HCF is now becoming 81 into 3, 243. Hopefully you got that particular point. So this is very very important that we have to understand a and b are co-prime. Now in that scenario we have only four options. For the four options we got the a and b values. Multiply with the 81 we can get the different combinations of numbers which will satisfy these two conditions that sum of two numbers is 1215 and their HCF is 81. So, so the numbers are first scenario 81 1134, second scenario 162 1053, another pair can be 324 891 and the last one is 567 and 648.